Good morning. It's a Monday. What's up, boy? Man, start of the week. Week number First day four. of the week. People, week number four. Exciting. Um, a lot of basketball over the weekend, brother. Yeah, sobra, sobra and dami. Oh, God. Ay, oh. bro, before anything, sa lahat ng mga nag-reply dun sa question, yung poll natin na uh, should we have live streams so people can engage with us, people can, you know, Share their thoughts. Kasi nga, sabi natin, syempre, iba pa din pag nakakasali sila. Diba? Hope, we want to give them that opportunity. So, we're working on it, people. We're, watch out. Watch out for further news. Okay. Very exciting G- yun. Very exciting. Yes, sir. Okay. Alright. Sige. Um, unahin muna natin. Well, the NBA preseason has just begun. Um, The Brooklyn Nets went up against the LA Lakers. I think hindi pa rin tapos yung, yung game ngayon. Third quarter pa rin ata. So, ayun, nag-start na yung NBA preseason. And, uh, well, during the course of this NBA offseason, medyo nagkaka-problema sa Philadelphia. Si Ben Simmons. Medyo si nag- ben, Simmons. <laughs> ben Simmons hasn't been able to join the Philadelphia 76ers yet in practice. Training camp has already started for all teams. Yeah. But it doesn't look like Ben Simmons will join them anytime soon. And Joel Embiid has actually already addressed the issue. Many niya. times. Many times. Yeah, many times. Uh, many Sabi times. Niya, ben Simmons has... Ben Simmons said na parang tapos na talaga yung time sa Philadelphia. Parang yeah. ha- his relationship with ben, with Joel Embiid has ran its course already. And medyo na, na-offend si Joel Embiid doon. That's true. That's true. Man. Ano masabi mo about that, Mike? Oh, my gosh. Honestly, man, they... they... I don't. I'm pro player. You know that. Because you know, I know how it feel, how it feels like to be a player. I wasn't like on that level. Obviously, mga people na magsasabi di ka maumabot yan. But I am pro player. I will always find a way to defend the player and be and you know, kumbaga, try to. The narrative will always be twisted because na papansing with players. Eh. But with this one, ang hirap kampihan ni. Eh. Because honestly, man, you're getting paid two hundred million, de ba? And ito kasi sa akin. Buti kung maganda yung nilaro niya. Kung maganda, may mga ganong hoopers eh. That maganda yung nilaro mo, you're underappreciated, you're disrespected, you feel like hindi ka, hindi ka na-appreciate enough, you're underrated. Like let's say what happened to IT in Boston. Kung maga, he did his thing, na-trade pa din siya. Yung nangyari kay DeMar DeRozan kay sa Toronto, same thing, na-trade siya. So parang walang loyalty there. Sa akin lang, he played like shit. Let's face it. <laughs> diba? Like, honestly, you, I can't, I don't know how you're called an NBA superstar when you can't, you, you don't have a jump shot. <laughs> you don't have a jump shot. Like, hindi ko pa rin magets it. Like, how could you reach a point or a level of, like the NBA, which is the highest level of basketball in the whole world, without a jump shot? Which is so weird so because weird, even the big men can shoot from the outside. Exactly. No, like, He's a point guard. Like don't get me don't get me don't don't get me twisted when I say you don't have a jump shot. Kasi um di ba pag nagba-basketball tayo or pag bata ka, yun yung una mong aaralin, tumira. Wala naman ever bata na una na oh, gusto kong pumasa. Honestly man, uh, joke, joking aside, points guard, point guard. At the end of <laughs> the day, true. the first time you hold the basketball, tas may nakita kang ring, o kaya binili ka ng tatay mo ng ring, o ng mga, di ba? Like, titira ka. Hindi ka naman yung mag-hook shot, hook shot, di ba? Titira ka eh. Di ba? Whether pa ganun, o pa, like, it doesn't matter. So, ang akin lang is, how can you get to the NBA without a jump shot? Now, now, yes, totoo, every other thing that Ben Simmons does is NBA-like but defense passing his height his athleticism all that but how can you have already ilang years na siya sa NBA 4 3 oh no yeah oh, no, no, 2017 no. diba yeah oh 4, four. years four. in the league you still don't have a jump shot like get square you made it to the league without a jump shot congratulations ganun ka kagaling sa ibang aspeto ng laro but when you get there and you're getting paid 200 million a year uh, 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 200 million or maybe like 30 40 million a year Diba? Like, diba? you have all the access. You have all the money to get a trainer. May access ka to a court 24-7, I suppose. Diba? Dito ka sa, sa Pilipinas, hindi pa ganun eh. Diba? Like, pat- pahirap pa ba? Hanap ka pang ball boy. Diba? Re-reserve mo pa yung court. Doon, for sure, access 24-7. And the thing is, here's, here's what's bugging me more is, 
okay lang yung wala kang shooting but you work on it every single day. When you work it on or you work on it every single day, you have the confidence to shoot. Like a Rajan Rondo. Rajan Rondo was the same thing. Russell Westbrook was the same thing. LeBron James was the same thing. Walang shooting when they entered the league. Pero kita mo they work on it kasi sa laro kahit mintis, kumpiyansado sila, titira pa rin. Rondo tumitira pa rin. May 42 si Rondo in a Celtics jersey na yun yung time na sinasabi natin wala siyang shooting. Pero nung nag-42 siya, kita mo ay 3 points. That's the confidence that you get when you work on it. Yun yung hindi ko mag-gets kay Ben Simmons. Tapos, parang victim pa siya ngayon. Yun na nga eh. Yun yung pa- pa- victim pa- pa- ka pa. And I understand how after the playoffs, like the six uh, coach Doc Rivers and also Joel Embiid, medyo threw him under the bus with their comments after the season yung sinabi ni Joel Embiid na parang yung turning point was when we gave up a dunk nung nagpasa siya, di ba? Hindi, yeah. hindi niya pinangalanan, pero yun yung ibig sabihin niya. And like, you have to put into consideration the heat of the moment. Kakatapos lang ng playoffs. We're in a hard-fought battle. We lost because of, let's face it, totoo naman eh. Di ba? Di ba? Ang pangit talaga ng nila. a shot in the fourth quarter. Exactly. And you're the superstar. You're the face. Of a game seven. <laughs> yeah. So, and then, ngayon, lumalabas pa yung balita na all their roster movements are tailor-made for Ben Simmons. So, you yes. can understand the frustration coming from 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 um these guys, the other other teammates and of course the coaches and the management. So para sa akin, until you can tell yourself na perfect ka na or wala ka nang baling ginawa. That is the only time you can look at someone else and say, like yung ginagawa ni Ben Simmons, the day that you are perfect already, na may jump shot ka na, lahat nagawa mo na lahat, talo pa din. Then you can complain. Then you can go through this saga. But right now, man, the best thing is just trade him. You know, talaga. Like, there's nothing else you can do. It's oh, just well, trade him. This is actually worse than the vaccination than the anti-vaxxers. Yeah. <laughs> Kasi ito talaga ayaw niya maglaro. Eh. And like ayaw niya maglaro. Yung mga anti-vaxxers, sige, may mga yung paniniwala. Even though, of course, you still need it. You still need to get the vax to play. But this is just technically like flat out ayaw ko maglaro until i trade ako at wala siya pa kay kung iaano siya i-fine siya every game every practice so medyo medyo wild <laughs> but my last point do you think that any team would be very reluctant to give him the keys oh, to the yeah. offense oh yeah no no i i Ala, believe I say go no kasi okay um there there is another player in another team yeah. who is like him that doesn't really have a jump shot yet but he, he already is an M- NBA champion and that player is Giannis Antetokounmpo. Oh, true. Do you think that he will ever be that kind of player for a different team? But with Giannis, kasi, he tries. Like, even if he's not a... He's not a, a three-point shooter. But you see that there are games that he shoots. He did not shoot. He si Ben Simmons, because he doesn't really shoot. Ben tumitira. Simmons, talaga, <laughs> like, he doesn't really shoot. Like, si Giannis... Alam mo walang shooting. Bibigay mo outside shot. Facts. Kasi kaysa doom drive. But at the end of the day, makaka-shoot at makaka-shoot eh. So medyo, yeah. parang rondo talaga. Like, have you, have you, have we seen really a guard or a player in the NBA na ganun kalala? <laughs> Honestly, like, I don't remember anyone na ganun kalala. I understand yung, yung walang shooting quote-unquote adjective natin is yung rondo, um, Yanis, Westbrook. Pero hindi kasing lala. Ni, ni it's, it's not really someone who doesn't shoot at all. Siya oh, lang talaga yung hindi tumitire. Si Ben is not walang shoot. Si Ben ayaw shumot. <laughs> Iba yun ni. Eh. Iba yung walang shoot. Siya ayaw shumot. So, I don't I don't think you can be an NBA superstar or franchise player na wala kang shooting. Like, that's talaga. the most fundamental thing. Especially in today's era no, exactly. of the game. Can you, you imagine? Can. Lalayuan you mo can. lang yun. But, but, <laughs> He can be he can still be an NBA star by getting him into a team na puro shooter naman. Hindi lang talaga din bagay like hindi lang talaga bagay yung Embiid Simmons for me. Kasi parehong paint because of the spacing. Paint, yeah. Everyone's in the so pwede siya maging star pa rin si Ben Simmons but just not maybe in a Golden State team na lahat shooter sige di ba? Or pwede nilang gawing 4. I think they really need him to make it. Really need to make him a 4 already. Makakalusot eh. Durant plays four. Draymond Green plays four. I think he's just as tall or maybe like a little shorter than Durant but he's just as tall as Draymond. 
Diba? I'm not really sure about the height, but you get what I'm saying. He can play f- the four. Aside from Golden State, which team is he? Do you think he is fit to play with? Because Golden State oh. has already said that they were Brooklyn. They're, they're, they're not gonna try anymore. Brooklyn, Brooklyn. I like the Ben Simmons for Kyrie Irving trade. I somewhat like I'm somewhat like it. Kasi medyo magulo din si Kyrie sa kabila. Para sila magulo eh. <laughs> so I believe like both teams need a fresh start. Like ang gulo nitong player ko. Sige, palit palitan ng magulong player. Siguro kaya namin yung player ninyo. Parang ganoon eh. So, I think I think that's good kasi Kyrie um if you put Ben there, yeah, uh, Durant, Harris, um James Harden, LaMarcus Aldridge, people who space the floor. So, I think pwede din dun si ano, si Ben Simmons. Uh, we'll see. Diba? Pero yun ang ano ko. Yun ang take ko about this whole Ben Simmons thing. I don't want to talk about it anymore to be honest. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Moving on to the B-League. We have two players who yes, are man. injured. Uh, Juan Gomez Del Llano only played three minutes in his opening day, in his debut with the uh, Tokyo Z Earth Friends. Yeah. But he uh, eventually he played um Three More minutes, minutes lang, uh, during the second game. game. He yeah. scored 10 points. And then uh, Bobby Ray Parks, uh, I think, has a muscle strain. Yep. And then um, the Dagoya Diamond Dolphins has yet to say if uh, when he will be playing again. Yeah. I'm medyo praning kasi ako sa B-League, the way what they did to 30 last year and Kiefer nung first game. Medyo praning ako dun sa ano ba talaga gusto nyo sa mga Pinoy natin. Eh, sobrang... <laughs> Ang galing ng mga yan. Like, honestly. Kaya nga eh. Di ko rin gets diba? So, hindi ko gets. Um, but, uh, so, medyo na parinig ako ng first game ni Juan. Kung bakit three minutes lang siya. But I found out that he he's coming off of an injury or injured siya. May minor injury siya. So, we 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 wish the best for Juan as well as Ray Ray Parts. Hopefully, they get healthy. They can hoop the same as Javi is in quarantine, I believe. So, makakalaro na yung mga yan. But, yeah. Uh, yun lang naman yung, ano, yun yung dalawa. Sana makakalaro na sila. Of course, para mapakita na nila yung kaya nilang gawin sa B-League. Yes, the way sir. Kobe Kiefer 30 has done, diba? So, Speaking yeah. of Kobe, Kobe scored 25 points in his debut, although they lost that game. But uh, bumawi naman sila the next game, although he cooled down, but he made baskets when it mattered the most. Yeah. Mikey, what can you say about Kobe's, <sighs> uh, you can say, rousing debut? Yeah, this is what and, I was And saying. he said that he wasn't pleased with I those like 25 that mentality. points. Honestly, I like that mentality because at the end of the day, you could have done more, especially in the second half. He had... Oh, but still, yeah. Because he had 20 points 20 in the first, the first half. Okay. But he five had points, five just five in the second points, half. Yeah. So, so he, he was he he was defended well. Yeah, I mean, I mean this in the nicest way. That's a great sign for Kobe. Na, oh, 20 ako in the first half, but we still have So I got to do more. Even if he's 50 na yung score. Niya. I have respect for Hoopers who do that. Yung parang kunyari, 50 na yung skinor mo, pero talo pa rin kayo. I could have done more. Kasi it's the, it's the truth, man. Straight up. Like, it yeah, doesn't matter. It, you, you lost. What matters is the win. Eh. Yeah. So, I understand where Kobe is coming from and I respect that a lot. But here's the thing. People have been telling me or people have been saying, uh, grabe naman, I don't think Kobe is good. That's the worst. That's the, that's the, <laughs> that's the farthest from the truth. Mga ulul. <laughs> Magaling yung bata. What I'm trying to say is, he, he will not reaches full potential if he doesn't get skilled. Diba? And we saw it. Like, ito yung sinasabi ko the last time we talked about Kobe. He had a two-year hiatus. The last time we saw him was not in the UAAP pala. We saw him in the Gila, his short Gila stint in 2019. Yes. Mm. And he wasn't like this. Well, at least from what I remember. Yeah, first he was, game niya man. First he game was niya. Playing, he was playing a lot of four back then. And oh, yeah, puro mga from the flash middle. And oh. Then, and like, this is the first game niya pinanood natin. Step back jumper niya was on point. Mm. I don't care kung banda yung three points niya, but this is what I was saying. Tumitira ng three. Hot. Tumitira. Kumbaga, give yourself a chance to make the shot. So even if banda yun, three points pa din yun. Pasok and, pa rin naman eh. Tsaka mukha siyang mas comfortable sa mga galaw niya. Yung he looks very confident. Niya. Ito yung sinasabi kung he's on that third year Ravenna route. He's on his way to a more polished, smoother game. The same way 3D is now, diba? So, I give a lot of, of, of props to Kobe for working on that. It's not over. It's just the start. It is scary dun eh. Alam ko that he knows he needs to get better individually, skill-wise. Kaya kita mo, nagpa-practice siya, pinapagaling niya yung sarili niya. So, it's gonna be scary once ano, Kobe really reaches that part, point na talagang skillful na siya. Sobrang comfortable na niya sa mga dribbling moves niya. 
sa mga step back niya, sa mga half spin fade away niya. Kasi kaya niya eh. Freak athlete, man. He can. Freak he athlete, can handle yeah. the ball anytime he wants. Kasi magaan sa kanya yung bola. The same way when you look at the D, parang kayang-kaya niya yung bola. So, pareho sila, man. They're, they're athletes that are trying to make their way to the hooper side of things. Diba? And 30 is a little bit earlier there kasi last year pa naman talaga si 30 na sa B-League. So ngayon, I, I believe Kobe's on that. Ano? So, astounding debut for Kobe yeah, Paras. I mean, diba, you can't teach athleticism. And can't, speaking man. of 30 and Kobe, they will be the ones who will Go fight it out oh, next okay. weekend. Uh, homestad naman ngayon ng San and Neo Phoenix ah, this nice. time. So that will be a treat to watch Kobe oh, yeah, versus sure. 30. I mean... 30 has been looking to look more comfortable already in his role with San and, yeah. and it will be a joy to watch him go against Kobe. Yeah. Okay. So, we saw... I th- I believe everybody saw naman the Kobe game or at least highlights. We posted the highlights. And then you saw the 30 Ravenna versus Kiefer game. Both games. Diba? We also posted highlights on our Instagram page. Hopefully, you can follow that. But, Okay. I want to talk about now that we're in the we're moving to the key for 30 thing. Wag na muna natin pag-usapan yung yung game. Kasi napanood naman na natin, alam naman na natin na hindi siya ginamit ng point guard ng umpisa kaya ganun. <laughs> diba? So, I want to talk about this because this is what I was passionate about the other day sa stories ko sa Instagram ko. Imports. People don't understand. <laughs> Pag import ka, guys. Ito, ano ba ang most basic explanation ng import? Inimport ka kinuha ka from a different country. Now, we're talking about not just basketball imports. Like, may mga import ng iba-ibang industriya. Di ba, may import nga ng, ano eh, ng kahit blue-collar workers eh. Oh. Di ba, ini-import niya mga yan. Kasi, di ba, mga nurse, magaling yung yes. mga nurse na Pinoy eh. Kasi sobrang hospitable natin eh. Sobrang maalaga. So, kuha tayo ng mga nurse na Pinoy. Import. You get from another country. Guys, kahit canned goods ini-import, kahit pagkain ini-import, ano yung ibig sabihin nun? Wala kami nun dito, so mag import kami from another country. Yun ang ibig sabihin ng import. So, let's go back to basketball. When you import from another country, it's because you don't have that same person or same player or yung ma-offer ng player na yun, hindi ka makahanap nun dito sa Pilipinas or sa ibang bansa. Kaya ka i-import. Di ba? So, don't, 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 don't go come at me with Hindi 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 dapat tayo entitled na dapat <laughs> na dapat 30 or Kiefer is the star. No. Guys, kaya sila in import is because wala silang Kiefer Ravena doon. People have to understand this about the B League. Okay, and this is not hate on on the B League. This is just facts. The B League is import dominated. The reason why it is import dominated, the same way as ABL was a few years back. ABL had four imports din ata. Four. Three yeah, which world. Is the same, right? Which is worth same. Three world and one heritage. So ganun yung sabili, di ba? Three world and one Asian. Yes. Okay. Now, people have to understand this. You can, the reason why they did that was because they wanted the competition to get higher. Imagine. Kung walang import sa Billy, kung gano ka, sorry for the word, kung gano ka banudon. Imagine niyo yung manu- I'm so so no, this is not hate ah. This is not hate, this is just facts. <laughs> di ba dami nating galit do sa locals na parang ano ba naman tong local na dribble ng dribble? Di ba? Imagine niyo na kung walang import yung Billy. Mahina yung mahina yung competition dun, guys. What makes it strong and what makes it fun are the imports. So ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo na kaya in-import yung mga Pinoy doon or yung mga kano or yung mga ano uh, imports sa ibang ibang bansa is because wala kaming ganyan. Gusto namin umakit yung level of competition. Kunin natin si Kifi Ravena, magaling daw sa Pilipinas yan eh. Diba? So when I'm frustrated about how they're treating imports or the minutes that the imports are getting or maybe not just the minutes, yung usage, the way they use them in the game, the way... Kiefer was standing in the corner. Like, you do not pay. Ito pa. If you're getting an import, you're gonna pay three times more. That's just facts. Three times more. Papa import So, ba- bakit di mo gamitin, di ba? Oh, ba't mo hindi gagamitin? Ito yung pinaka most basic thing also. Yung pinaka malaking bayad, yan yung pinaka dapat na ginagamit mo. Yes po. Kasi yan yung mala- that, That's just... Diba? Ano that's common natin? sense. That's common sense. Ano ba yung lagi natin sinasabi? Like say nung si Gilbert Arenas, hanggang ngayon binabayaran pa rin siya, di ba? 
Yeah. Sino na loko doon? 'Di ba yung team? 'Di ba they always call it a heist by the player? Like Kevin yeah. Garnett is still paid right now, Joaquim Noah. So, if you're a team and you're going to pay someone that big and let's say you use him and not and intentionally not use him. Ah. Like you have the power or the choice to use him or not the way Kiefer you can use Kiefer. Iba pag injured eh. Pag na-injure siya sa buong kontrata niya, kawawa ka as a team pero wala kang magagawa kasi wala eh. You committed to that player na injure siya or nagkaroon ng situation hindi siya nakalaro. Pero kung hindi mo gagamitin like on purpose, hindi naman on purpose pero like, do you get what I'm saying? Na parang you need to understand people that imports right away when they come in sila dapat talaga yung player sila yung gagamitin the team is 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 a perfect fit for them you import players that you need because why will i pay times three or three times the regular salary for something that i don't need like drastically need diba so ito yung sinasabi ko someone told me na parang bakit pag nagdala dito ng asian import exactly bakit hindi po pum- ito sasabihin ko ulit to i said this in my story bakit hindi pumatok yung asian imports sa pba because it's, it's the because, same oh it's the same or we are are, or, are filipino players offer the same yes. kind of play kumbaga asian genetics import. wise halos uh, pareho lang mas magaling pa nga or, tayo eh. oh yun na <laughs> skill wise or uh, even better uh, so what's the point diba what's the point ito yung nangyari diyan eh dati sa pba ang i believe two world imports and then one Asian. Yung hmm. world import, given yun. Kailangan oh, oh, oh. natin yun. Kasi, walang, yun nga exactly, may Justin Brown liba tayo dito? Wala. Meron pa tayong Allen Durham? Wala. Meron pa tayong Terrence Jones? Wala. Kaya natin sila ini-import. Kasi wala tayong ganun eh. So, import tayo ng ganun. O ngayon, balik ta rin mo, meron ba tayong magagaling na point guard dito? Ba tayo kukuha sa ibang bansa? Meron tayong magagaling na point guard dito eh. Di ba? So, exactly. that that in itself, when you compare the B-League and the PBA, don't tell me mas matas competition sa B-League. No! The only reason bakit tumaas yung competition sa B-League is because kumuha sila ng import. Ngayon, you guys have to understand, or people, at least the listeners of the show or of this podcast, you have to understand that when, I, when I'm frustrated kung bakit hindi ginagamit yung player na yon the way he should be used, Like one, na-frustrate ako, na-praning ako, ba't di ginagamit si one? Key for 30. ba? Diba? Pag na-frustrate ako ng ganun, it's because, man, nagkagulo yung buong Pilipinas, pinapunta nyo dyan yung bata, tapos hindi nyo gagamitin the way you should. ba? Diba? That, that, that's, just, that's just bullshit to me. Honestly, that's just bullshit to me. ba? Diba? Because, <laughs> oh, sige, they, at the end of the day kasi, kumikita pa rin naman si 30. Kahit umupo sila dyan, kumikita sila. That's yeah, good. But, That's technically good. But really, is that, is that really what we want? Diba? I mean, the, the, reason lang naman, the reason why they went there is because they want to play. It's not just really just because of the money. I mean, okay, <laughs> given na yun eh. Given, given na yun na mas malaki yung sweldo uh, nila. Pero they went there to play, to develop their careers, yeah. to develop so, their games. Exactly. So sobrang na-frustrate lang ako when Kiefer, number one, Kiefer came off the bench. Pero, sige ni, palusutin natin. Baka may point guard doon na gusto nilang gamitin muna na local, di ba? Gamitin muna natin bago ay Kiefer Ravenna. Pero sige, he came off the bench. Kiefer is mature. Kiefer is is a, is a pro. But when he stood in the corner for the first five possessions, doon ako minit. Doon ako minit. Pure bullshit. Doon ako parang, you're gonna pay someone three times the regular salary. <laughs> or four or five times pa nga. I don't know, di ba? And you're gonna make him stand in the corner. And don't get me wrong, ah. Yung, huwag niyo sabihin Clay Thompson or Marshall Lassiter. Hindi, or, no, hindi siya ganun eh. Because Clay Thompson, Marshall Lassiter, they stand in the corner for a reason. They have a Kabagnot. They have a Steph Curry. They don't have a fucking good point guard in that team but Kiefer. So, why will you make him stand in the corner? Or Marshall and Kiefer. Or, ito okay pa sa akin yung Dino si Kiefer. Fine, dos mo si Kiefer. Oh. Pero make him come off fucking screens, man. Yeah, no, don't make him stand in the corner Don't lang. make him stand. Because when you make a, a player stand in the corner, it means trabaho nung ball handler to set them up. Eh, hindi nga magaling yung ball handler. So, if anything, if you want to make he for your two guard, then make him come off staggered screens. 
para mas madali dun sa point guard na bibigay Make lang niya. for him. Bibigay lang niya kay Kiefer. Paglabas ng stag guard, bibigay niya. Eh ngayon, parang binigay mo kay player, kay, kay point guard, yung responsibility, paano mo papaganahin si Kiefer? Eh paano hindi nga, hindi nga niya masetup eh? Diba? So, but, but at the end of the day, I commend the quick adjustment by the coaches. I don't know who, sino bumulong kay Coach Torres. But I commend them in the second half. They gave Kiefer the ball. Kiefer had a... I didn't watch the game yesterday, I'm be honest with you guys, because I was watching the Magnolia game. But Kiefer had 20.7 rebounds. So I, 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 I feel like nag-adjust naman na sila. Uh, so, but you know, I think I still think they would they should have played Kiefer more on the ball yesterday. Oh, you watched? They, I watched you the watched. game. I, oh. I was watching that game while I was watching the Magnolia game. So, so hindi pa din? Pare, it, it was yeah, the first game they adjusted in the second half. They yeah. gave him the ball as in yeah. hindi ganun primarily I thought na ganun mag-uumpisa. Hindi. Yesterday, they didn't even start him. He came Again? off the bench and then they played him a lot off the ball pa rin. And it just It was it was still uh, fantastic that he scored 20 points, but I still think yeah. that he they could have played him more yeah. on the ball. Yeah. So Kiefer's not gonna complain because Kiefer's a pro. He won't. Thirty won't complain. Actually, he's a thirty last year. Katex ko yan eh. But he's not gonna say anything in public. No, he's not. But I I will be the one. I'm frustrated with how they're used. Like the phenom. This is the phenom. Man. Iba yung respeto ko kay thirty. Si thirty okay na eh, kasi nagpago na. Eh. Kami from think- last season. This, this is better. Last season, talaga inuupo siya for quarter, third. Ito, nag-ano siya eh. Dagger three pa nga siya kahapon yep, eh. Yep. So, parang okay na yung kay 30. Okay na yung kay 30. Babad siya eh. Yung kay, yung kay Kobe nga, okay pa eh. 33 minutes siya okay, ng first game eh. Kah- kahapon, I'm sure madami na naman nila si Kobe. Starter. Okay yun. I'm fine with that. And that's how it's supposed to be when you're an import. ba? Diba? The day that Kobe made the big shots down the stretch. Exactly. Yesterday. Si Kiefer man, like, And Kiefer's the one na parang feeling ko mas pinaka-established sa lahat ng to. Like, come on. You, if you're getting him, I'm sure you know the pedigree of the player you're getting. Kiefer exactly. Abena is um, maybe yung... the most popular Filipino hooper in the world. Uh. Maybe. Yeah, he is the first ever Filipino player to be signed by the Jordan brand. <laughs> exactly. And that is unheard of, honestly. Like, no one thought na may Pinoy na Jordan brand, ah, na kahanay ni na West Jordan Duke, brand. Ah. Okay lang yung Nike Philippines, eh. normal oh, pa yun. Oh, hindi. Eh, hindi yung Nike Philippines, so, si Jordan brand talaga. I'm sure you know the pedigree of who you're getting. I, I, I feel like he is the most popular in the world. We're is, talking about is. the world, ah. Maybe he here, mas maraming followers si Richie, mas maraming followers si Kobe. But when you're talking about in the world on a national, on an international scale, uh, on an international stage, FIBA and all that, Kiefer is the most popular. If not Kiefer, maybe Jimmy. Pero Kiefer pa din kasi Kiefer is part of the, ano eh, the modern era, yung yes. social media era. Si Jimmy kasi medyo dito na. Umpisa siya mm-hmm. dito. So, I feel, I feel like Kiefer. So, you, at least siguro naman alam mo, di ba? Or you watch the tapes na parang, Yo, Kiefer is a... Uy, ang galing. Ba't di ba pag nanood ka ng tape? Parang, uy, ang galing ni Kiefer na point guard, ha? Hindi, hindi mo ba ba isipin gamitin natin point? So, uh, sorry, ha, but my frustrations about this is crazy because, uh, you, you know, I'll be honest, ha. Here's the thing. Nangyari sa... I'm not on the same level as Kiefer or any of these imports, but I was also import an import for Thailand. I was an import for Singapore. Binangko nila ako doon. Like, I'm not even kidding. Binangko nila ako doon. First game pa lang, bangko na ako. Second game, pinasok ako third quarter na. Third game, second quarter. Like, it was tough. So, I'm gonna just let y'all know na nung nakaupo ako sa bench doon, binabayaran nila ako ng times two, times three the regular salary. But at the end of the day, I was like, wait lang ah, medyo, ba't niyo ako pinapunta dito kung hindi niyo naman ako kailangan? <laughs> But niyo ko binabayaran ng ganito kalaki kung hindi niyo rin naman ako gagamitin. It, it, you can look at it as a good thing kung heist ka, kung magdanakaw ka, na tipong at least binabayaran niyo, wala akong ginagawa. But at the end of the day, I went there to play. And the only reason why I was called na, oh, punta ka dito, import ka dito, is because I thought you needed a point guard. Tapos hindi niyo rin naman pala ako gagamitin. So what's the point? So kaya siguro medyo... So times 10 yung bushit kong... Kasi nun... Sino ba naman ako, 'di ba? Pero ngayon parang on an in- 
<laughs> Pero ba yan natin pinag-uusapan? That is a natin. clear misuse of funds. Uy, so wag niyo na akong, wag, wag, kayo, wag kayo magulat kung frustrated ako. Kasi that's how I look at imports. Parang ligang labas yan eh. Naging import din ako sa ligang labas. Like, a friend would call me, Uy, kailangan namin ng, ng reinforcement. Kailangan namin ng import. May laro kami sa ganyan. Punta ka. I've been called on like an hour before the game and I go there. When I go there, Starting five ba? Wala akong pakialam kung di ko kilala yung mga teammate ko. Wala akong pakialam kung tira ako ng tira. In-import nyo nga ako. Binabayaran nyo ako eh. Ganun ang tingin ko sa exactly. import eh. So, hoopers know na import ka whether kahit anong level yan. Basta import ka, ibig sabihin, kinuha ka namin kasi wala kaming ganito. Ganun yun. So, pagbigyan nyo ako kung frustrated talaga. Hope, I was hoping na nag-adjust sila kahapon based on the first game but uh, sabi mo nga hindi. So, We'll, well, moving forward, 60 games. So, hopefully, yeah, it's a 60 game season. Hopefully you know, I, I just feel like um, to give Coach Torres a little bit of benefit of the doubt, I th- I just feel like he's just trying to employ much more a team basketball time of concept. Because they're running plays na nothing in particular for anybody. So, I, I don't know. I don't alam know. Mo nang, alam mo nang import dominated yung liga mo eh. <laughs> Yan yung mga type of league na sasabihin mo dun sa imports mo o galingan ninyo. Import dominated gay. Di ba? Imports lahat. Man, it's an import dominated league. So, that's the difference between that. Na Kaya sila kumuha ng imports kasi yung competition nila hindi maganda. At the end of the day, real talk lang. Ah, Mag-keep it 100 with you. Hindi mag-import ng apat na player yan kung magagaling yung local nila. Dito, kaya hindi tayo naggaganon kasi magagaling yung mga local natin. Di ba? Masaya yung basketball dito kahit all Filipino. Kung all all Japanese, hindi magiging masaya panoorin yun. Dito masaya kahit all Filipino eh. So kaya sila nag-import doon. So everyone please understand kung bakit ganun yung ano sa import. <laughs> Okay. Again, try nyo, nga, try nyo manood ng old Japanese. Tingnan oh, natin kung masaya kayo manood. Uh, exactly. So, kaya, kaya ako frustrated. Anyway, but another uh, import that I'm very, very impressed with, actually impressed na ako with, him, with her since before, si Jack, okay. bro. Si Jack Animam just made her debut in Serbia's top flight basketball league, the first women's basketball league of Serbia. Yeah. She had a double-double, 20 points and 14 rebounds on 8 out of 11 shooting, 2 steals, 2 blocks, and an assist. That's the crazy stat line for Jack. Si Jack ayaw matalo, ah. <laughs> di pa rin natatalo. Ilang, ilang, ilang taon na hindi natatalo to si Jack. Oo nga pala. <laughs> Dating natatalo. back to her college days pa. Parang yeah. 5 years na ata siya hindi natatalo. But <laughs> with Jack, okay, I just want to say this. Obviously, Jack is are is the equivalent of Kai in the in the women's basketball scene when it comes to a Filipino hooper trying to make it to the NBA WNBA. Okay, I know. I think we all know that Jack is trying to make it to the WNBA. And this is what I'm this is what I will say about yung hopes natin of hopefully Kai making it to the NBA and Jack making it to the WNBA. Um being realistic. Okay, I'm a real I'm a realist. So I will face facts and kumaga reality tayo. Malabo na pwedeng makakuha or makapagdala tayo ng Pinoy na magiging superstar sa NBA. Malabo yun. No, let's not counted si Jalen Green, Jordan Clarkson. Huwag niyo ako pilosopohin ha. Jordan <laughs> Clarkson and Jalen Green. Duh! Di ba? But when, I'm say, when I say full Filipino, the way Kai is, the way Jack is, okay, full Filipino, Malabo na makapagpadala tayo ng superstar or meron tayong superstar sa WNBA or NBA. Malabo yun, realistically speaking. At this point in time, maybe in the future, but at this point, malabo yun. So, the best way for us to have a Pinoy in the WNBA or NBA is a role player. That's why I feel like Jack and Kai have the best chances of making it compared to when Ray Ray tried compared to when Kiefer tried. Because Ray Ray and Kiefer are franchise player potential guys. Now, I'm not saying Kai isn't. Ha? Kailangan niya maintindihan yung difference. Kai can be a franchise player when he comes back here, obviously. But yung height niya, yung length niya, yung athleticism niya, yung skills niya, pwedeng role player. The same way si Jack then. If you look at the highlights of Jack itong past game niya, or even yung games niya prior to this, never ball dominant. 
de ba? He she never like kukunin yung bola tas discard yun. No, she gets her points off of putbacks, uh, rolls to the basket, drop passes. Um, nakita ko yung post moves niya. Sobrang solid nung post moves niya. Like Ang crazy. Ang footwork niya. Footwork She's is very cr- polished. Like Jack, your footwork is crazy right now. And Even I w- better than a lot of male players. Wild. And I will say this. When you give him the when you give her the basketball down low, she takes a maximum of two dribbles. Nakashoot na siya. Ito yung sinasabi ko na pwede siyang mag WNBA. Kasi very very efficient. She's not taking anything away from the system na tipong kailangan yung system tailor made sa akin para maging effective ako. May mga ganung players. Isha Ben Simmons. No, hindi. Like Jack Animam could score put back drop pass roll to the basket, 22 points na siya. Rebounding niya, nandun. Yung sipag niya, nandun. So, that, this is why I believe that Jack can be our first WNBA player. It's because she can fill a role. Eh. Like, mahirap kalabanin. Like, alam naman natin sa WNBA. Like, ngayon, it's going on. Diba? Like, Diana Taurasi. Diba? Medyo, medyo mahirap yung mga ganun. Diba? Mahirap tayong maglagay na superstar sa WNBA. But, Jack, can be that solid big man or big woman na, di ba? Yung sakto lang. Yung hindi, hindi, hindi high maintenance, low maintenance player. You don't have to think about her to make, to, to make sure she's effective. She can be effective in that role alone. So that's why I feel She can be like, a star in her role. Yes. Yeah, so that's why I feel like she's our best chance. At this point, she's our best chance and she has a big, big chance of making it. Continue lang niya na every time makuha niya yung bola, sure ball na yung ilalim niya, which I, I'm saying sure ball naman na ngayon, but then like continue to get better, continue to fill in that role na roller big, di ba? When, pag nakuha ka ng bola, kaya mo bantay mo, two dribbles, tira ka na, di ba? Drop pass, drop pass, rebound, hustle, depensa. So, if she can do all those things na ginagawa ng role player, man, di ako magugulat. WNBA. I'm not, I'm not even. First WNBA player natin na babae. That's why I feel like We have to be real. We can't have a superstar in the WNBA. The level of competition is crazy. The level of I don't think we can be choosy. I mean, the mere fact that we can send oh, a player to the WNBA that's already big and, for yeah. Philippine basketball mm-hmm. in general. And our best chances of of sending someone there is a solid role player. A yep. solid role player. Can you imagine kung matuwa yung mga superstar ng WNBA si Jack? Uy, ang galing nito pag rumol, pag bigay ko shoot eh. No, I mean, you know, that, that, that's the thing with us, Pinoy. Eh? Why can't we just be appreciative of what our, what our fellow countrymen succeed? Hindi, kasi... Kailangan laging, ay, ay naka, nakaabot ng ganito. Bakit hindi nag-ganito? Hindi. Ang, ang, ang problem is, ang Pinoy kasi may, may... Well, not everyone, but people who don't understand. Hindi pwedeng, kunyari, dito nagdo-dominate si Junmar. Di ba yan ang lagi sinasabi kay Junmar? Pagdating na international, hindi ka... Like, you have to understand. Iba yung game, eh. Iba yung game. It's so a whole hindi... different animal so, all the time. So, eh. like, ito ah, Afril Bernardino is a beast. Pero bakit mas malabo or mas malaking chances ni Jack umabot ng WNBA? Because Afril is a franchise player. Like, superstar. Like, kumbaga, she needs the basketball for her to yep. be effective. And that's yep. facts. Like, yep. tayo na talaga pabanat si Afril. Si Jack hindi. That's why you have to understand there's a difference. Eh. Hindi ibig sabihin mas magaling si Jack kay Afril. Hindi ibig sabihin mas magaling si Afril kay Jack. It's just that you fill a role. Well, people like, just don't really understand the uh, facts like, before they judge. Teams, teams, may roles yan. May, may franchise player tayo, may role player tayo, may point guard tayo, may, may defensive stopper tayo, may roles. Ngayon, ito yun eh. Superstar. Kung superstar ang hinahanap mo, kay Afril ka ba talaga titingin o titingin ka sa ibang bansa na talagang may mga Liz Liz ano yun Liz Cambridge ba yun Liz Cambridge oh di ba yung mga ganun t- yun di ba so I don't want to spend a lot more time on this but I feel like Jack is for the people who understand Jack is our perfect yung mabadadala natin because he she can fill a role talaga eh. so yeah I have I have high hopes for Jack damn ang dami nating Or... pag-uusapan. The weekend was crazy, man. <laughs> It was really crazy. And speaking of crazy, the PBA semis has just begun. Yeah. Magnolia draws first blood against Meralco, 88 to 79. Mm-hmm. Ian Sangalang presiding over that attack for Magnolia. He led Magnolia with 18 points. Paulie with 17. 
And um, Jesus. um Calvin Abueva had 13 points. He booked early foul trouble. Yeah. To score the crucial baskets in the end game. Yeah. Mikey, ganun na naman nangyari sa Maral ko. Lamang sila um, majority of the game. Yeah. But, yeah. I mean, hindi naman sila lamang. But like, they were... They were in a seesaw battle with Bugnoli yeah. the whole game. And they were in the lead most of the time. Pero, collapse na naman sila sa dulo. Oh uh, man, too much firepower. Maral, I mean, Magnolia has too much firepower. Like, ang dami talaga nilang pwedeng puntahan eh. Di ba, Ian? Ang dami nilang option, Ian, Calvin. Yung death five nila, may death five din sila eh. Na Calvin, Paul, Mark... Um, Ian and then maybe a Jackson or a Rafi or even a Gio Halalon. Di ba? Like, ang lakas nila masyado talaga. And I know that, again, Meralco has a chance. But I feel like this is the same as their, of as last, yung huli nila sa Enlex. They need to really, when they do get a big lead, like an 8, 9, 10 point lead, they have to maintain Because once Magnolia gets on those runs, na 6-0, 8-0 run na mabilis, man, mahirapan ka maka-recover eh. Lalo na pag nabuhay na sila. ba? Diba? So, that's good. Get Calvin into early foul trouble if you're Meralco. But, you have to maintain. You have to sustain. ba? Diba? Kasi, babalik at babalik yung Magnolia. Again, they have so much firepower na imposible hindi sila bumalik. Ngayon, yeah. they should be ready for that balik ng Magnolia. Diba? I, I feel like Coach Norman is gonna get them more prepared for, for next game. But bro, hindi mo rin masasabing walang bala yung Meralco eh. Kasi bro, malakas din eh. Malakas Chris, din sila pari. Raymond was solid. Well, Chris was also hounded by foul trouble. Exactly. Pareho sila ni Calvin oh, si Pauls Cal- in the first quarter. Chris, uh, Raymond was solid. Raymond is solid ah. Like, Raymond, I will put Raymond on Ian. Talagang they will go at it. Kasi alam naman natin since sila, college. Pari. Since the length, the length, they can the height. Go, they can go at it. Saka kilala nila isa't isa from college pa lang. And then, yeah. a lane, if you get a lane to get hot, and then, Bong Quinto, man, to this day, man, Bong Quinto is <laughs> underrated as fuck. Sobrang kaling ng Bong Quinto na yan, man. Yes, Hooper, really. Hooper shit. Tapos, di ba, a Cliff Hodge, Raynel Hugnat. Like, malakas yung meral ko. Pero ito nga, again, like, against NLEX, they have the potential of leading by 8, 10, 12 points. And when they get there, sustain mo na. Yun lang naman eh. Sustain mo na hanggang dulo. Easier said than that. But I think that's the best chance talaga for Meralco to get wins. I'm not saying they're gonna they're not gonna get swept. They're not gonna get swept. But I don't think they will. They're not gonna get swept. Maybe six games. Di ba? But yeah. that's the way they're gonna have a chance is to make the most of those early leads. Kasi kaya nila eh. Kaya nila sabayan eh. Exactly. Kaya lang, yun lang. Pag nahahabol sa dulo, yun ang nagiging problema. But we'll see. Um, still, one to two weeks off pa rin ata si Aaron Black. I just talked to him. So we'll see what the, how that goes. But right now, pare yung playoff prediction mo, sabog na. Yung NLEX mo Bakit? tanggal. Eh. NLEX mo tanggal. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> so three out to four ka na lang. Oh, pero Magnolia ko, boy pa naman. Panalay, San- Magnolia mo. Pero so, it's 0-1 oh, kasi token. Oo, oh, oh, naman. Pero 0-1 kasi token. Exactly. Oh, oh, but God. yeah, with, with Meralco Magnolia, it's gonna be a fun series. I feel like Mag- Magnolia has more firepower, but Meralco has the potential also. They just need to lock down. Pag ito na yung run ng Magnolia, lock down tayo, depensa. Diba? But, eh, yung problema kasi yung Magnolia, they, yun niya, they have so much firepower on the offensive end, but they're also dogs on defense. Nakakabaliw ka laban yung Magnolia. <laughs> like, nakita mo the way uh, Magnolia um, pulled away yesterday? Easy. Ay, grabe. No? Saka parang ang dali. Eh, yun parang ang dali. Y- y- yung sa Magnolia. And because it's not just their offense. Nga. It's tama ka. It's their defense. Kumbaga that Calvin Aboy was steal and the dunk. That's kind of started it all, eh, di ba? Yep. Kung may pressure was, pa sila. That was what ignited it all. Di ba? So, Gio Halalon had a hell of a game. A defensive-minded point guard who can also score. Di ba? So, wala eh. Paul Lee, first half, ang ganda din. Paul Lee actually had 17. 17, 17 yes. Oh, so, ah, dami talaga eh. But, you know, Coach Norman will find a way. Hopefully, they can contain the 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 fire na meron ang, meron ang Magnolia. Because I I feel like Magnolia is really laser-focused on getting a chip. Eh. Like, Iba yung ano ng Magnolia ngayon. Eh, that's the Calvin Abueva effect. ba? Diba? That's the Calvin Abueva effect. Yep. Their whole different team with Calvin oh, Abueva sure. on board. So, yeah. All right, Moving on to the second game. 
TNT Tropang Giga ex- escapes with a squeaker over San Miguel Beer. Yeah. 88, 89 to 88. So many players contributing for TNT. Roger Pugoy, 23 points. 23? Jason Castro, 16 points. Poy Eram, 15 points. Yeah. Uh, Poy Eram. Okay, I will say this about any... I think the, the, the Achilles heel for a Jun Fajardo, if he does have one, diba? this is it. A five who can shoot. A five who can shoot. The way that Ken Bono, alala mo yung series dati ng San Miguel versus Meralco. Yes. Ken Bono had a, like a great series. It's because Jun Mar is not built to challenge all the way to the three-point line. Yep. to the perimeter. Dito lang siya sa ilalim. Mga June Mar ako eh. <laughs> like, huwag ka pupunta dito sa ilalim kasi kaya kita. Laki ko eh, di ba? But, yun yung weakness ni June. I'm not gonna call it a weakness, but if there's anything that you will shoot for, like a weakness, na hanapin mo yung, kumbaga, it's not a weakness. It's the weakest part of his game, but not a weakness. For June Mar is a stretch five. That's why Poi is very, very crucial in this matchup. Now, In the second half, medyo hindi na nakaka-shoot si Poy or na foul trouble siya. But, na-space mo na yung floor. Because of 15 points in the first half ata si Poy. Parang ganun eh. So, I'm sure sa dugout, nagbago yung sistema. Oh, Junmar, medyo labasan mo na si Eram. Oh, o kaya, Mo, si Eram, medyo labasan mo na. That slight adjustment gave... R.R. Pogoy, Jason Castro, Mikey Williams, more space to operate. Kasi hindi na ngayon nakatamba yung big man sa paint. Kasi wari na sila kay Poy. Eh. ba? Diba? So, this is kumbaga, an advantage for talking text that they need. If, if Poy can continue to hit shots, oh my God, that's gonna space the floor for all their slashers. As in. Like, I feel like Poy will be the X factor of this series. Kumbaga, if Poi can continue to hit shots the way Ken Bono did a couple years back. I'm not saying sure win sila kasi malakas pa rin naman talaga yung San Miguel. But that's gonna somehow give more space para dun sa smaller guys to operate. So, di ba, I know Mikey's gonna be aggressive. We know R.R. Pugo is gonna be aggressive. Troy Rosario and um, who's this? J- Kuya Jason Castro. They're gonna be aggressive. But Poi? If he can continue to hit 15, 17-foot jumpers, three points by three points pa siya, eh, di ba? Tonto si Coach Chot. Eh. Kita mm-hmm. mo, man, na pinigyan ni Coach Chot ng lisensya si Poy. Na Bro, he, was, he was two out of six yesterday. Sa three points, di ba? Three point area. Pero yeah. pare, most of those misses, sa second half na. Yes. Kung baga, na-establish mo na yung sarili mo na, oh, kailangan nyo kong i-challenge. Yun lang naman eh. Importante, yun lang importante. Kailangan nyo i-challenge si Poy. So ngayon, sa lahat ng pick and roll, hindi na pwedeng masyadong kumumit si Junmar. Hindi na pwedeng sobrang kumumit si na Motau Tua. Kasi pag pop ni Poy, pag kuha ni Poy, patay, malayo yung challenge natin. So that in itself, yung kung paano, in it, like, hindi ganun kaganda yung nilaro ni Poy nung second half. But because of his first half, that's the effect that he had in the second half. So I feel like Poy would be a really big factor in this, in this series. ba diba? Pero, you know, R.R. Pogoy, same shit. 23 points in four kinds of shots. <laughs> diba? So, matik na yun. R.R. Pogoy, Jason Castro had a good... I think Jason Castro is well-rested. Yes. This is the... He looks very well-rested. This is the bata effect. Yung kung may bata ka, relax lang ako whole elimination round. Diba? Chill lang si Kuya Jason eh. I think pinakamataas ni Kuya Jason sa elimination, 14-16 points eh. Yes. May 20 ba siya? I'm not really sure kung may 20 wala, siya. Wala. Pero like, relax lang siya. Sige, go. Pero pag semis, eto na. Pero Tapos, banat siya ngayon. Tsaka death five din sila. Oo. Oh. Kita ba yung finishing five nila? Um, Poy, oh. Troy, Poy, Troy, RR, Mikey, Mikey Williams. Jason. Oo. Oh, oh. Sinastart nila si Kib. I, I feel like Kib. Oo, oh, sinastart nila si Kib. Hindi na daw makakalaro si Kib ah. Ang ano balita. Yari? May ano yung muscle tear ata. I'm not sure man. Talaga? Pero sabi lang ni Poy eh, na may injury. May injury na kuha. Oh, Or calf. Calf ata, torn calf. Something like that. So, Kaya pala di na siya bumalik. Uh, so, without Kib, Brian Heruela takes that spot. And Brian And Heruela Brian is reliable. Heruela. Yeah. Reliable as fuck, bro. Yeah, dude. Super reliable on both ends. So, I Great don't think there's a problem player. there. There's a problem. <laughs> so, 
But for San Miguel, they just need to find a way to to, to contain. Pero sobrang dami rin. You, you know what balance. the problem for San Miguel was for me yesterday? They yeah. gave up so much offensive rebounds and second oh, chance yeah. points. Them being the bigger team. But grabe yung bigs ng talk and text. They're the bigger the team. They, they are the bigger they're the, team. They're the, the older days. team. Uh, well, that, which is also true. Oh, so, medyo yung Troy Rosario, bata pa, talon ng talon. Boy <laughs> Era, bata pa, talon ng talon. Sina Kubuntin, Marcelo. Di ba mga ano yan? Dave Marcelo played a heck of oh, yeah. a game Dave yesterday underrated. defending Junmar Fajardo. Underrated. Junmar had 13 points, but those were 13 points that he had to work very, oh, very yeah. hard for. Underrated Dave Marcelo. E yung sinasabi natin dati na you want a Dave Marcelo on your bench for special kumbaga assignments na pa. Di ba? Batay mo si June Mar. Lalaban si Dave Marcelo talaga eh. Balitan tayo ng mukha. Iba yung mga ganun, yung mga tulong ng mga ganun players. But, yeah, if, 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 but, you know, ang daming bala ng San Miguel eh. So, hindi mo rin pwedeng, it's still, it's still, this the series can still go any, either way. But, with that first game, kita mo ngayon where token text can attack. Kumbaga, let's take advantage of this. Coach Leo will will adjust, but ito nga, like the, the coach shot effect again was in full display yesterday. Oh, definitely. Hinaanap nila yung butas. Galing. Galing. They really were outworked yesterday. Oh, galing, galing. Magaling yung, ano, yung talk and text. Pero ano, best of seven. It's, <laughs> it's, 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 gonna be a, it's gonna be a very close series for me. Sobrang tagal pa nito. I don't think it would be impossible to go th- that it, this would go the distance. I don't think people understand. Or or even we. I never. I was never part of a seven-game series, man. Yeah, same. <laughs> like, grabe yung work that you have to put in to win a seven-game se- Four games? Four wins against the same team? Like, every game sila na lang nakikita mo? Like, pahirap ng pahirap as we go on. Kasi pa, adjust ka ng adjust eh. Siyempre, sa first game, malayo yun doon sa fourth game. Yung amount of adjustment na nagawa mo, di ba? Scouting report. Uh, pero, man, and, that's a crazy series. Yun nga, it goes beyond the physical eh. Because it's really all about the preparation, the strategy, the mental game. It, it, it's not anymore patigasan na lang Di sa loob. Di na eh. bro. Tsaka, tsaka ito yung whether you win or you lose, whether you play well or you don't play well, short term memory ka dapat. Like kunyari yes. ah, compare natin, let's say June Mar. I'm sure June Mar was 13 point solid game but he knows that he could have done more. Six time MVP. Alam natin yun. Poy naman, maganda yung pinakita ng first half. 15 points in the first half. Let's say Poy, ganda nung nilaro ni Poy, panalo tayo. Pero hindi rin siya pwede mag-duel dun. Na okay, so Wednesday, babawi si Junmar. So hindi pwede. Focus na tayo right away. Focus agad. Si Junmar naman, hindi naman pwede ma-down. Kasi wait lang sa Wednesday. Chance ko na bumawi. So this is yung mental aspect talaga. is crazy. Like pag mo sa umaga, kailangan fresh fresh ka na. Hindi tayo Looking lamang. forward to game two na. Hindi tayo down. Kumbaga, I, mean, I don't think SMB is thinking about na down sila ngayon si Rowan. No, they're not. Man. Okay, Wednesday, bawi tayo. The same way talking text is also not resting na parang ah, 1-0 lamang tayo. No, man. Like, four games, a uh, seven-game series is too long for you to relax whether you're doing well or you're not doing well. Like, ka- talagang next game up na tayo. Next possession up. Na. So, exciting yan para sa right. PBA playoffs, man. But it's gonna be a great week. I think Wednesday. Wednesday, yeah. di ba? Yeah. Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday's game, uh, the PBA games. And then also yung mga B-League natin. Ito yung sinasabi ko eh. Medyo magsistagnate yan, yung hype ng B-League. So we're gonna try to keep up with with our posts na mga import highlight natin pag mga ganda yung laro mapapakita namin sa inyo. But it's gonna stagnate man. 60 games is so long para the same hype as itong weekend na to. No, opening weekend is different. Diba? Parang NBA yan, magsistagnate yan sa kitna. But we're gonna try our best to put out content for that. Um, Tomorrow, I feel like we can do our top 5 NCAAs already. Kasi wala naman slow, slow news day. Eh, diba? Walang PBA, walang B-League. So, yeah, I think tomorrow that we're, we can set that up. Hopefully, everyone can join us. And, you know, and then, yeah, we're working on our lives. Don't worry about it. Guys. This week, malapit have, na, malapit yeah. na malapit. This week, I have, ano, I have a couple of meetings to see where we can, you know, put out lives for everyone to join us. Okay? Damn! That was a long weekend of basketball, but... Alam mo yung... Oo, oh, di tayo lumampas ng isang tayo, oras, ha? Pero alam mo yung over the weekend, I'm sure 
a lot of people were looking for us over the weekend. Na parang a lot. Reaction. Maraming yan na, na nag-aabang sa atin. Maraming nagko-comment diba? sa IG natin. Oh. Oh, kanina ko pa kayo naabangan sa Spotify. <laughs> Pero ba? Pala. Pag inisip mo, parang... Kahit ako eh, parang... <laughs> di, like, nanggigigil ako na parang... <laughs> Kailan natin pag-uusapan to? <laughs> Kailan natin pag-uusapan tong nangyayari? Like, I think we need a live, man. Oh we, do, we really do. Ito Especially for basketball natin. crazy weekends. Oh, pare, like. Kahit yung mga Saturday night. ba? Diba? Like, oh, we'll fix everything for you guys. Don't worry about it. Okay, but that was fun. Less than an hour. That's an accomplishment for us. Especially with all the things that happened over the weekend. Okay? Ang dami natin na pag-usapan. Yeah. So, but thank you very much for everyone. Uh, for everyone's support. Fourth week. About to start, yeah. kick things off with a great, great weekend over the, the ba, over the weekend, and yeah, we're looking forward to more basketball this weekend and more and more uh, debates and discussions here on Shoot First. So we appreciate all of you. Keep on supporting all our socials. Please follow, and yeah, we'll see you all tomorrow. The name is Mike Reyes. This has been Happy Palanya. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Peace and love. And thank you very much, Tripod Network. We'll see you all very. Uh, we'll see you all tomorrow. Okay, bye guys.